Welcome back to a brand new episode of Monster and Programming. In today's episode we're going to be creating this very simple guessing game. As you can see we have a text field over here and if I enter anything such as cat for example and click on submit it will say that you lost. But if I enter the correct guess such which is dog and click on submit we should get an option uh, saying you guessed the word and then we can also choose to play again. As you can see we change the word that we are going to be playing with and we also get guess the word. And we can pretty much do this as many times as we want and this app was created using swift ui so it will be very simple to use and you can actually use it on a real device whether it's an ipad or an iphone before watching please make sure you click on the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment below telling me what you would like me to create next without further ado let's get started Welcome back guys, so the first thing we need to do is launch Xcode, now if you don't have Xcode installed make sure you head to the app store and install it otherwise you can go to your launchpad and you can scroll until you find Xcode or you can simply search up Xcode just like this, I'll go ahead and click on it, click on create a new Xcode project, make sure you have iOS and app selected, click on next and let's call it the game. This will be the name of our app. Make sure you have the interface as SwiftUI and Lifecycle SwiftUI app, language as Swift, uncheck everything here. Click on next and save it somewhere that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it on my desktop and click on create. Welcome back guys. So as usual, I'll be leaving our UI on the right side just so we can have something to refer to. And I'm gonna go ahead and start creating some of the variables that we're going to be needing in order to create this app. The first thing we are going to need a variable and we're going to call it guest and this will pretty much be the word that the user enters inside of the text field following by that we're going to have a level status and this will change depending on whether the user has created or uh, or entered the correct guess or not and this should be with a capital s like this so if the user didn't enter anything right now this is at zero if they enter the correct guess then it will change to one which will change everything else and if it's changes to two that means the user has entered the wrong guess after that let's go ahead and create another variable and it will be called selected word and pretty much this will be the word that uh, the game select so pretty much we're gonna have an array of words and we're going to pick a random word from the array and save it or store it inside of our selected word over here obviously it would make sense now to create our list of random words now set it will simply be called our words and it will only carry string type characters so we will have dog inside of here we'll have cat make sure it's all in lowercase otherwise this will not work properly let's add orange let's add monkey and one last one which will be chicken now obviously you can add as many words as you can and want in order to make this more interesting but for now I'm only adding those five just so that we actually can guess the word correctly rather than wasting time. Now before we can continue let's change the background of our view to make it orange because right now it's white so let's add a z stack and then add a v stack. Under the v stack we're going to add color dot orange dot opacity 0.3 so I want my opacity to be 0.3 to give us that color and then in order to actually make it spread across the entire screen and edges we're going to say dot edges ignoring safe area and we're going to say dot all and this means that it will ignore the safe area in all of our edges beautiful so now we can start adding things inside of our vstack to actually create our app we're going to add our title which is going to be text and it will be called the game it's going to be bold and it's going to have a font of dot large title just like this after the text we're going to add a spacer and this will allow us to have that space between the next item and we're going to add three different things depending on our requirement over here so we're going to check if level status is equal to zero so that means the user hasn't actually entered uh, submitted anything then what we are going to have is we're going to have the image and this word so we're going to say image system name and it will be called question mark dot diamond so this is the image 
now I actually as you can see I have my assets here empty but if you type this up you don't need to download anything you actually have this image showing up for you now obviously we need to make it large title so that it can be big as you are seeing it right now we're also going to be adding some text and it will say guess the word so let's say guess it's hard to think and write at the same time guess the word there we go so what if it's at one so what if the user entered the correct thing well let's see right now we know that it was hard coded into dog being the right hand sign if i click on submit Ooh, okay so it seems like it wasn't uh, but basically what it will say is you want so let's go ahead and copy this and we're going to say if it's equivalent to one then instead of the question mark what we want is actually a check mark so it's that tick so we're going to say check mark and we are say you won you guessed the word so this is the message that will show up if the person wins finally let's show the message when the person loses which is actually that one so we're going to say if level status is equal to two then we don't want the check mark we want the x mark and we're going to say you lost so let's go ahead and remove everything over here and we're going to say you lost just like this beautiful so now that we have this let's actually try add uh, the text field and the button so that we can actually work and make this um, application look exactly the same as on our right to do this i'm gonna go over here and i'll simply say text field Oops, sorry, it's just text field, not text field style, so text field, just like that. Inside of here, I'm going to enter my placeholder text, so I'll say enter your guess. And then I'll put a comma and I'll say text. And I'll put a dollar sign and I'll pick guest. So now we will have a text field and whatever the user enters inside of that text field, it will be stored inside of our variable called guest over here after that we are going to add another spacer and this will be the space between the text field and our button and we're going to be adding a button so we're going to type in button we're going to have an action for now let's just leave the action as empty and then we're going to be adding text for our button and the text will simply say submit there we go now let's go ahead and create our function which will deal with our uh, submission of the word. So I'm going to go over here and go into create the function and I'll call it submit answer just like that. Inside of here we're going to say if guest dot lowercase is equivalent to selected word then what we are going to do is that we're going to change the level status to 1. And we're also going to pick another word for us to guess. So we're going to say our words dot random element exclamation mark. So now pretty much what we're saying, once someone clicks on submit answer, we're going to check if guest lowercase. So if whatever is inside of our text field is equivalent to the selected word, then we're going to change this to one, which means that we're going to say you, you won, you guessed the word. And we're also going to say we're going to pick another word so that we can keep guessing the game what we can also do is that we can uh, change guest is equal to zero so that means that this whatever's in the text field will also disappear now the reason why i put lowercase is because we're just trying to compare the spelling and not the upper or lowercase so if someone puts cat with an uppercase and the correct word was cat with lowercase this will be correct let's go ahead and make the condition so if the person loses so if the person loses or if if the word is not the same then level status should be equivalent to two and guest should also be removed but we're not going to select a new word let's just keep on playing on the same word now we're actually done but there is one more thing that we need to do and that is pretty much and that sorry this was added yep this is it. and that is pretty much um the button that appears if we have one so let's go ahead and see what that looks like if we put dog if we put cat if we put chicken orange 
there you go so this button we still haven't created it so let's go ahead and create it so to do that we are simply gonna go ahead um inside of our level status is equivalent to one and right underneath the text we are actually going to add the button so we're going to say button say action Side of our action we're just going to leave it as empty for now and we can actually go ahead and remove this label that's not how i like creating my buttons and over here we're going to say text now we're going to say play again and clearly this was an extra bracket just like that beautiful so now for the action let's go ahead and start working on it inside of here i'm going to say selected word is equal to our words dot random element after that i'm going to say that level status should go back to zero and that guest should be zero so if the person does win we should reset everything and this should be first we should if the person chooses to play again then we should reset the level status to zero and we should also remove the word so as you can see if i click on this everything goes back to normal which means that I did this incorrectly because we don't actually need to create remove this or we don't even need to guess a new word since we're gonna do it if the person chooses to click and guess the word wonderful now what is left well there's actually nothing left right now the only remaining thing is to add or choose a random element at the start of the game to do that click on your vstack come over here and make sure you write it exactly as I want. First, let's add a padding. Then we're going to say on appear. We're going to say perform. We're going to open and close a zigzag bracket. And we're going to say selected word is equal to our words dot random element. Just like that. Beautiful. So now we actually completed that entire app. Let's run it and check if it actually works as we expect it okay so we have the app here running let's go ahead and enter our selection i'm gonna go ahead and start remember this is random i'll put dog and see if that's correct as you can see it's not as you can see actually nothing is happening when we click on submit so there has to be a problem in our code let's go ahead and see what the problem is and the problem is that we're simply not calling this function whenever we click on submit so all we need to do is go to the action type in submit answer now let's go ahead and run this again and see if now it will work properly okay so for the second time now the app is running let's go ahead and enter a selection i will say dog and i'll click on submit as you can see it wasn't dog let's put cat it wasn't cat let's go ahead and actually check what the other words could be we can put orange and nice we actually guessed it correctly it's orange and it says you guessed the word play again let's click on play again we start again we can put something like chicken and it's wrong let's try orange again maybe no cat and nice it was the right guess and you can this is something a very simple app that you can you know show off in front of your friends you can put it on an ipad you can put it on a phone you can put it on anything pretty much all you need to do is just plug in your phone and you can play over and over again you can also add more than one um word you can add like 20 different words and you'll be able to play you'll be able to check your spelling and improvise on this app Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe. Let me know in the comments how I can improve or if you have any ideas or any apps that you would like me to create for you. Thanks so much for watching and have a good day.